That was Peter Marshall, joined now in the studio by Bahrain's Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Kamal Ahmed. Uh, now, did you know your security forces were this brutal? Uh, sir, as uh, the report uh, defined today, the issue that uh, there are mistakes has been done in the past and has been done, and we accept the report. Lesson has been learned. The most important thing is to fix things and to go forward with the country. This we need to unite the people. And actually, if the report is telling something, is saying that uh, it confirms what we have said at the beginning, that we want the truth, even if that means criticism to the government. Right. So blindfolding, handcuffing, enforced standing for long periods, beating, punching, hitting the detainee with rubber hoses, cables, whips, metal wooden planks or other objects, electrocution, sleep deprivation and numerous others. These are things that came as a complete surprise to you, are they? I think the report, uh, number one, we have to make it clear that the report is a testament that uh, to the, uh, a testament to the uh, mature and responsible way His Majesty and the country has used to investigate what happened exactly and to formulate the best recommendation for the future of our country. Yes, mistake has been done. We uh, cannot uh, tolerate human rights uh, uh, violation. We cannot tolerate torture. It's against the country what do you mean policy. You can't tolerate it. it was and, clearly and, systematic. And action has to be taken, and disciplinary action has to be taken. Uh, what action will be taken? I think uh, we have already started the reform, uh, and 20 officers have been. Uh, prosecuted uh, for mistreatment that led to death, as well as we are changing, uh, working with our allies and with the international organization to change the system and the process. We need to institutionalize the change and implement reform to improve the country and to move forward. Are you saying you are now committed to becoming a proper democracy? I think Bahrain has started the political reform 10 years ago and it was unprecedented at that time. I have to remind you that till recently, Bahrain was viewed by leading democracy as the poster child for reform and it was there was no US speech Sorry, that did not Sorry, you gave you your job. I think uh, there the was King no, gave you there your was, job. There was not a US speech that did not uh, use and refer to Bahrain as the yeah. model of reform. Yeah. Are you committed to becoming what anyone in the West would recognize as a proper democracy? Of course, we have laid down the foundation of a progressive democratic process. We have done, achieved a lot. Uh, I think uh, it is the people of Bahrain should decide how we will progress. Definitely, well, unfortunately, they have to wait on the king's say so right now. So, when does the king no, want I Bahrain think, to become a democracy? I think we have established a constitutional institution to move the Bahrain forward. Uh, in ten years, we have done a lot. It, obviously, we need to do more. We need to expedite the reform uh, um, and uh, meet the demand of our people. Um, do you now regret? inviting the Saudis in to help you put down these protests? I think uh, the Peninsula Shield that came to Bahrain as part of our agreement with us, they, the report uh, confirmed today that they have not engaged or contacted with uh, uh, the protester. They have been uh, located in a critical site uh, away from uh, the protests. So you don't regret inviting them in? Uh, I think we, Bahrain, and the other country in the GCC, mm. uh, we work to enhance our relation and integrate ourselves, and there is uh, agreement uh, allow us to do this. And uh, would you have published this report had it not been from pressure from the Americans? I think we have done it because we want the best to our country. We want to move forward. Uh, the event did not benefit anyone in Bahrain, mm. and not even the countries that they want the stability in the region. And it had nothing no to one do has with benefited. an arms deal. We want to move forward. We want to unite the people mm. in Bahrain. What happened that we have a social division in Bahrain today. It polarized the country. We have the two significant sections in Bahrain. We need to build the trust once again. And unless we start a reconciliation process and reform, we will not move forward. And we need now to work together. Everybody in Bahrain has to work together uh, for the good of Bahrain. Minister, thank you.